Today we are talking about the brand new Carhartt line called Super Ducks. Before we get into this, you should know that I do have a relationship with Carhartt. Of course, my opinions are my own and not influenced by them at all. I happen to be a really big fan of the brand. They reciprocate by, you know, allow me to do stuff like this, where they'll send me samples to show you so you can make the best decision for yourself. Hey, before we continue though, I wanna thank recent subscribers, Scott Frazier, Anthony Wong, and Mike H. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Super Ducks is a new line from Carhartt, but it's not. <laughs> Originally, back in 1930, Super Ducks was Carhartt's outdoor and hunting division. It existed on its own with a full catalog of jackets and vests and socks and hats until 1932. Then it was reintroduced again as part of the mainline Carhartt catalog from 1957 through 1964. And then again from 1971 through 1973 where several camouflage pieces were available. And just to add to the confusion, in the 1930s a totally different company bought the Carhartt Super Ducks facility and began producing Super Ducks garments without the Carhartt label. So trying to figure out the timeline of Super Ducks is somewhat difficult. Essentially, it had always been Carhartt's line of outdoor gear with the tagline, Smart Clothes for the Out of Doors. Interestingly enough, there is also a line called Superfab, which included some really great pieces made from moleskin fabric. And to be honest with you, I'd love to get my hands on some of those old jackets. So since the 1970s, Super Ducks hasn't made an appearance, but it's now available for the first time in almost 50 years. The new Super Ducks line continues the legacy of being made for an active outdoor lifestyle. And I actually asked Carhartt about the choice to include a new line to their already vast catalog, and they told me that they found that many people were already using the mainline Carhartt gear for outdoor activities. In fact, my friend Julian, who was the cinematographer on An Honest Trade, told me that he regularly wore Carhartt B01s while working at a rock climbing gym since they held up to the daily abuse. The new line seems to be built around an interesting new fabric with a nylon canvas face and a fleece back. It's stretchy, durable, and has a DWR finish to keep you dry. For demonstration purposes, Carhartt loaned me a few pieces to show you. Their Sherpa-lined active jack, a pair of bibs, the insulated traditional coat, and a really cool looking vest. I think the best way to think of this new line is the same face fabric with different insulations. So we have a nylon canvas, which looks almost like a sweatshirt from far away, but sewn up in designs that Carhartt has refined over time, like the Active Jack. In fact, if you haven't seen the video that I did, which compares the Carhartt Active Jack against a very similar Dickies model and why it's worth the extra $14, go ahead and check out this video right here. The material doesn't have a crazy amount of stretch, but it is enough to make it feel more like a heavy sweatshirt than a jacket. It's far more flexible than the 12 ounce cotton duck version and treated with a DWR finish for water repellency. It's also supposed to be very abrasion resistant, but that's kind of difficult to prove without some long-term testing. I also really like the colors that they chose for this new line, being more subdued and much more in line with outdoor gear. Something that I found interesting is that the Carhartt branding is on the exterior, while the Super Ducks branding is on the interior. Now there's a really cool pocket label with a quote from Hamilton Carhartt and it reads, the open road is before you, life in the wide open spaces, and the living of it beckons you on and on. The anticipation of the strike, the swish of the line, and the purr of the reel, or maybe it's the lure of the game trails, the stalking, the swift unexpected flight of game, the chance snapshot, or again, it may be that pioneering desire to paddle on, around the next bend, another silvery lake, a long virgin portage, the tang of bacon in the air, just one more campfire. Your red blood urges you on and on. Go. There's no secret that these are Carhartt products, so I think that this is clearly a Carhartt option, sort of like the Yukon Extreme series. It makes sense in that you can choose which products best suit your needs based on other products you may have. For example, an active jack in the Carhartt mainline keeps all the features and advancements, but changes shell material and insulation with the different lines. It's a smart move. And as long as you pick the right line, Super Ducks for the outdoors, main line for tried and true Carhartt, and Yukon Extremes for the cold, you'll be well outfitted for the conditions that you're in. 
That being said, I think there's some crossover as well. You could absolutely work in the Superdux line, and perhaps guys who don't like the rigidity of Carhartt will find these to be much more appealing while retaining the usability. The new warmth rating is also on the tag, so you can get an insulation to suit your needs. The Sherpa is rated at a 2, so it's probably best for layering or if you run hot, while the quilted lining is rated at a 4, and it'd be best for those days below 30 degrees. The bibs are particularly interesting and seem to borrow features from both the mainline Carhartt and the Yukon Extremes, like the plastic buckles and the overall pocket layout. So if that DWR finish works as it should, I'll bet these things are awesome for snowshoeing or skiing. It's pretty crazy to see a line which has such flexibility and softness with the Carhartt name on it. I mean, I'm so used to rigid Carhartt fabric that this has kind of blown my mind a little bit. But don't let that fool you into thinking that this is some dinky, lightweight junk. This is some really heavy-duty stuff, and it's interesting because when you pick one up, there's a significant feeling of density and heft to them, which lets you know that you're actually holding sort of a Carhartt product that has all the, the qualities that you come to expect from the brand. So what's interesting is that this seems like a line which is showing Carhartt moving into the outdoor space. But then again... They had actually began the line back in the 1930s for that particular purpose. And at that point, let's think about what was around. It was probably the Filsons of the world, probably a lot of wool clothing. And I'll bet you that's what that first line consisted of. Nowadays, with tech fabrics and all that kind of stuff, it only makes sense that they would do something like this. And I got to tell you, these things, even though it's only September and I haven't had a chance to really try them or anything like that, um, they are cozy. This, this Sherpa lining is softer than what I've felt in the normal Carhartt line. It's very, very nice, and I'm not sure if that's just all in my head. It could be, but I don't think so. It's really pretty cool stuff. The DWR works well. Um, I think that these are going to be a no-brainer for a lot of people who just like the Carhartt functionality and all the features that they've come to develop over time, but they want to use it when they're fishing or camping or hunting or hiking, any of those kind of things. I think it's a really smart move. And what I hope that Carhartt does is expand the Superdux line, because right now it's kind of limited, it's brand new, so you can't expect like 35 products. But the ones that they have here are solid core items. What I hope that they do, and I would love to see just for my own you know, selfish needs, is I would love to see a Detroit jacket get the Superdux treatment. That would be really cool, especially in some of these more drab colors. Total no-brainer. These things really are nice. They blow out of the water Almost every soft shell material that I've felt to this point, um, this stuff is going to last for a while. You can just feel it. It's reinforced in all the right places. It has all that kind of stuff that you've come to expect from Carhartt. Um, everything being field tested and, and there being a reason why they did those things. And again, I go more into that kind of thing when I break down an individual product. Hey, real quick though, did you see the project where I actually went to a Carhartt factory in Kentucky? If not, go ahead and click this link right here. It's a video that I'm very proud of. All of these products will be linked in the description below if you want to go and check out any of them. Uh, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. This is a pretty cool new line. I'll catch you next time.